UFC 284, Islam Mahacha, big in the news. And to me, he's blasting the entire lightweight division. He's blasting Alexander Volkanovsky because he's already beginning to look past this fight, answering a question, would he move up to the welterweight division? And he says, let me tell you this, this topic is relevant, Mahachev said. I think it was to RT Sports. I like to compete. I like to fight strong fighters. I love big fights. Whoever is a welterweight champion, it's going to be a huge fight. I'm very interested. But in 2023, there are worthy opponents in my division with whom I still have to meet. So in 2023, he's, he's staying low key, right? Fighting in the lightweight division, his goal is to be Volkanovski. And then he'll have a big fight against someone next. And if he keeps winning, the welterweight division could be calling Mahachev. And that's a serious jump. That's not featherweight to lightweight, 10 pounds. This is 15 pounds, 155 to 170. So, you know, that's going to be a big jump for him should uh, he choose to accept it. And I think if he keeps winning, what does he have to lose? This is something that uh, Khabib never did, right? Leaving when he did. Not getting a chance to ever move up. Why would he want to? He was undefeated. Mahachev does have that one loss on his resume, even though it's very, very questionable stoppage at the time, but he does have that loss. So I think he's got nothing to lose by going up, and I think that's what we're going to see uh, in time. Make no mistake about it. Now, since we're on fight week, pay-per-view week, another late week, let's get into uh, the Islam Mahachev versus Alexander Volkanovsky full uh, fight prediction in the lightweight division for the lightweight division title at UFC 284. You got Islam Mahajev, the reigning champion, coming in at 23 and one, taking on Alexander Volkanovsky, the number one pound for pound guy, comes in at 25 and one, is moving up from featherweight, still the champion, trying to win the lightweight title. He'd be the first to hold them simultaneously since Conor McGregor and only the second ever. So let's get to it. Now, Volkanovski is going to be obviously shorter, four inches shorter than Islam Mahachev, but he does have a one inch, one inch reach advantage. Volkanovski fights right handed. Mahachev fights southpaw. In terms of significant strikes per minute, Volkanovski has a big edge, as most fighters do over Mahachev. 6.8 to 2.4 in terms of significant strikes per minute. It's almost three times as much, right? Volkanovski takedown defense, 73%. That's going to help him. Potentially, we know Mahachev's takedown defense, 88%. So two guys that can defend the takedowns really well. But no one's been able to prove that they can stop the takedowns coming from Islam Mahachev. He's coming off the win over Charles Oliveira. Right? Took the belt. Arm triangle. Submission. Before that, he beat Bobby Green easily by knockout. And he beat Dan Hooker by submission. But the big one was Charles Oliveira that answered all of our questions and we know he's the real deal. Now, Volkanovski beats everybody. He's beat Max Holloway like three times. 199 significant strikes in the last fight. Defended all potential takedowns, although Holloway is a striker. He beat Chan Sung Jung by knockout. Brian Ortega, decision. He's basically beat everybody. Has defended the featherweight belt over and over and over. He has got nowhere to go but up the lightweight. And getting this title shot against Mahachev is not one he's going to be able to pass up. He doesn't have to run through the gauntlet. He goes right to the title fight, but I'm here to tell you it's not going to matter. Islam Mahachev, right, number two on our dude list, should easily defend the bell here. It might take a little longer. I think Volkanovski may defend some takedown positions or may be able to battle on the ground in the first and second round, but much like Oliver, who will quickly weaken, um, you know, he might have a little speed edge initially as well, but at the end of the day, it's very difficult to go up to this division uh, from featherweight to lightweight and win, and therefore I like Islam Mahachev to easily win this fight, likely by submission. I'm going to say third round in this one. He gets the job done. He moves a 24 and one here in the lightweight division for the lightweight title at UFC 284. Yeah, so there's no doubt this is going to be a big fight. We're banking on Mahachev winning. That gives us a 4-0 start. All right, we got 14 fights to break down. About five or six of them done already. And we want to continue to stretch out this 25-11-1 record. We want to move the main event to 4-0. and That's what we're looking at this week. And, you know, you hope Islam Mahachev is not looking past Volkanovski. That's what you hope. I mean, forget talking about welterweight right now. You got the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world coming up to fight you. 
And that's the first order of business. I mean, Volkanovsky is no slouch. I mean, he's going to be uh, much shorter, right? He, he's definitely going to pack on the weight, so he's going to be short and stocky. But Islam Mahachev still has that takedown ability. Will it be tougher with a shorter opponent? I say yes, but I still think Mahachev uh, is going to control this fight from the beginning. But Volkanovsky, at least in the featherweight division, has been very good at takedown defense, keeping the fight standing, and outstriking his opponents. Even a guy with a high activity level in Max Holloway beating him, what, three times? And Max Holloway is a guy that against like Calvin Cater landed over 400 significant strikes. So if, it come, if, if Volkanovsky could defend the takedowns, which again, and he's practicing every possible position, if, and it's a big if, if he could defend the takedowns, he's got a real shot here. He's in front of the home crowd in Perth, Australia. And he's much more active on the feet than Mahachev. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be defending the takedowns. It's going to be maybe one or two rounds where he can afford to get taken down and controlled for most of the round. And if he can win the other three and keep it standing, he's got a real shot to win this fight. I'm just telling y'all. But when it comes to Mahachev, you just, we all believe that he's just going to go in there and land the takedowns and do what he does. But I'm just pre-warning you that if Volkanovski can keep this fight standing, he's got a real shot to win. No doubt about it. He's got a real shot to pull this fight off. But I'm hoping and praying, if you will, that Islam Mahachev can get the job done because that's our prediction. And we want the prediction to continue uh, turning over the way we want to see him turn over. And that's by us continuing to be correct. But we'll have to wait and see how this thing turns out. Now, in other news, Connor McGregor. And Michael Chandler, I'm sure you heard this by now, and it's still breaking news, but they'll serve as tough coaches for season 31, the first one that will be on ESPN. So you think about that. It's going to be live and direct on ESPN, and why not get Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler, two guys that can talk trash with the best of them, which is really what people want to see. But you get the two best possible coaches you can ask for in this situation, and two guys are going to fight after the fact. Uh, two high-level strikers, action-packed fight, more than likely at the welterweight division. If this fight's a lightweight fight, Michael Chandler probably wins. If it's a welterweight, McGregor's got a real uh, good possibility of winning. What's up? This is your boy, Chris Cross. Thanks for watching. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button in one of the links below. Then, click on one of them clips up above and enjoy yourself. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Peace.